Hi everyone, this is Dr. Jyoti Bala. I welcome you all on my YouTube channel. Today we are diving into the fascinating world of DNA quantification technique, both qualitative and quantitative. As you know, DNA quantification is a crucial step in many biotech and molecular biology applications, allowing us to determine the amount and the quality of DNA sample. So without further ado, let's explore five powerful techniques that are commonly used in this field. And for the new viewers, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more insightful content. And you can also join us for training projects and collaboration. Our first technique is UV spectroscopy which is quite commonly used in the molecular biology and biotech lab. It measures the absorption of UV and visual light by DNA molecule, providing a valuable information about their concentration. UV spectroscopy is so popular because it is non-destructive and rapid. It measures the concentration of DNA based on absorption and it measures the concentration of the DNA based absorption. But to perform such experiment, you need spectrophotometer in your laboratory. So let's see how you can do UV spectroscopy. These are the general steps. Prepare a blank solution using the same buffer as you prepare your DNA sample. Then you need to measure the absorptions of the blank solution. Then measure the absorptions of your DNA sample. Once you got the reading, then you need to calculate the concentration by using Beer Lambert law. And for accuracy, you can repeat this experiment three times and with different dilutions. UV spectroscopy finds application in various fields such as genetic research, forensic analysis, cloning, and environmental monitoring. For instance, it helps scientists determine the concentration of DNA extracted from the crime scene samples. The next technique which is in the list is fluorescence spectroscopy which allows us to quantitate DNA using fluorescence property. If you are using fluorescence tag attached to your DNA, in that scenario, you, you can use fluorescence spectroscopy. It is a sensitive and specific for DNA detection. You can also measure fluorescence emission upon excitation. But to perform this, you require fluorescence spectrophotometer. Let's see what are the general steps involved in and how you can utilize fluorescence spectrophotometry to analyze and quantitate your DNA sample. The number one step is prepare a standard curve using DNA sample of known concentration. Then excite the DNA sample at specific wavelength, measure the fluorescence emission, and then compare the emission intensity with the standard curve to determine the DNA concentration. You should repeat this experiment few times for getting the accuracy. Fluorescence spectroscopy is widely used in gene expression studies, PCR quantification, and DNA sequencing. For example, researchers and scientists employ it to measure the amount of specific gene transcript in a biological sample. Moving on, we have the quantitative PCR, the qPCR, an efficient technique for quantifying the DNA in real time. qPCR measures DNA amplification during PCR, which allows quantification during the exponential phases. And for this, you require a real-time PCR instrument. Let's see what are the crucial key steps involved in. To perform a qPCR, the first step is design a specific primer targeting your DNA of interest. Prepare a standard curve using the DNA concentration. Set up a qPCR reaction with your DNA samples, primer, and fluorescent dye. Run the qPCR reaction in the instrument. Then monitor the amplification in the real time and determine the cycle threshold that is CT value and finally compare the CT value with the standard curve to calculate the DNA concentration. Quantitative PCR is extensively used in gene expression analysis, pathogen detection and genetic profiling. It is a wonderful technique which helps scientists to measure the expression level of specific gene. Fourth technique is agrose gel electrophoresis a classical and conventional method for DNA quantification and size determination. So it can be utilized to visualize your DNA for qualitative purpose also. And after the gel illusion, you can purify the DNA fragment and do either nano drop or spectrophotometer for quantification. Agros gel electrophoresis can help us to separate the DNA fragment based on size. 
It also assists in visualizing the DNA band using ethidium bromide staining or any other non-toxic alternative dye. To perform this experiment, you require electrophoresis apparatus, UV transilluminator, and a gel dog. Let's see the key steps which are involved in agrose gel electrophoresis. The number one step here is prepare an agro gel of suitable percentage with appropriate concentration. Then mix the DNA sample with loading dye. Load the DNA sample into the wells of the gel. Then apply an electric current and run the gel for a specific time and duration. Once the run is done, stain the gel with ethidium bromide and visualize the DNA bands under the UV light. And lastly, compare the band intensity with DNA ladder of known concentration to estimate the sample DNA size. Agros gel electrophoresis is commonly used in molecular biology lab for DNA fragment analysis, plasmid purification, genotyping and cloning. It helps scientists to verify the success of the DNA extraction and check the integrity of DNA samples. And lastly, last but not the least, my favorite one, which is nanodrop spectrophotometry. It makes the things easier and non-messy in the lab, a technique that enables DNA quantification using micro volume. Nanodrop measures the DNA concentration using small sample volume, and it also provides rapid results. Let's see the key steps here, which is quite easier. The number one is place a small droplet of your DNA, RNA or protein sample. Select the appropriate measurement mode such as DNA. If you are performing RNA and protein quantification, you have to select that. Otherwise, you just uh, make the default at DNA. The instrument measures the absorptions and calculate the DNA concentration directly and you don't have to perform any calculation at that moment. It will automatically give you the concentration. Nanodrop spectrophotometry is widely employed for the DNA quantification in molecular biology, genomics and clinical diagnostic labs. For example, it helps the scientist and researcher to determine the concentration of DNA isolated from the different biological samples. So there you have it, the five powerful and wonderful technique for DNA quantification and analysis. Remember, understanding the quantity and quality of DNA sample is, is crucial for successful biotech experiment. If you found this information valuable, be sure to subscribe to our channel for more insightful content and join us for our training project and collaboration. Until next time, stay curious, keep exploring the exciting world of biotechnology. Thank you.